Welcome to Bayfield, Wisconsin. Today we have a beautiful day. We're going to take a look at the harbor out here. We're going to do a little painting. I'm going to try and do a watercolor sketch of this area and uh, see what we come up with. So come on along and join me. All right, as I begin this painting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some clear water and put it across the top part of the paper where the sky would be as we see the sky today. It's partly or mostly cloudy, but there's some nice light that's coming through and hitting the cloud sky very, very lightly. And just let the water and the dry spots of the paper do their work to add some cerulean blue and complete if it's going to have that free watercolor look to it. Shadow in a few places. Move forward in and through this painting with the first wash. So there will be, it's going to be a sailboat up here and another boat that's parked here at this dock. And I'm saving the white paper where the sun light later on in the painting will reflect off the parts of the boat and where it's not going to be white I can begin to add a lighter color or a color over that that will suggest a shadow. I have completed the wash which is the painting of the background uh, the light values that you see and then I allowed that to completely dry and now I'm beginning to paint the distant uh, shoreline, a peninsula and uh, the landscape that's on the, the far shore of the lake and I am doing this on dry paper. So here I use a dry brush technique where I have the paint quite thick on my brush with not a lot of water and I push the brush down quite hard and let the roughness of the paper take the pigment off of there and what ends up happening is you miss little points of the paper so it appears as though the sky or the background is showing through and this creates a nice effect for trees and, and the leaves of the trees. And while that area is still moist, I'll add some darker, working light to darker, work, add some darker color into that to suggest some shadowed areas within these trees and the leaves. And out in the distance there are little rooftops and it's a playground and various things that will little building out there. Just going to suggest the color of that particular building here. And there's some other structures in the distance and all you need to do is just merely suggest that there's some color out there. Because that is not the focal point of the painting and the viewer will read into that. Trying to build some shadow as we go. There are lots of shadows within these boats and vehicles and everything that's parked out here. But Link all the darks together as you go across, and <clears throat> it'll unify your painting. See how that goes across there? That is really important. The watercolor paper that I am painting on is Saunders Waterford Rough paper, um, and I, I really like that paper as well as Arches. I paint on that uh, a lot also. And I'm using Windsor & Newton paints. And you can see my palette of a variety of colors. The trees are suggesting the color of the trees and let that color just run downward. So I'm cutting through this wet area 
with some yellow ochre, a touch of permanent sap green to set the stage for these plants that are going to be in the foreground later on. And I break that while it's wet so it links it to the middle ground. It doesn't look like it's laid on top of the painting. And with these masts, you just have to put your brush down and go for it and hope, hope it isn't too crooked or too off. And if it is, well, I'll just leave that rest on there for just a little bit. And then I'm going to try a paper towel, and a slag of blast, or a rigger brush, and lay it in and let it skip across. People, there. Here I add just a touch of gouache. I'm using permanent white mixed with a bit of cadmium yellow or yellow ochre to create some highlights, some rim lighting on the heads and shoulders and in a few other places. What a wonderful afternoon of painting in Bayfield. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I look forward to the next time that we can paint together.